for fast lap times, every driver needs a car that handles predictably. He's got to know what will happen when he turns the wheel. It sounds simple, but it's not. The interplay of suspension and tires with the car's steering is much greater than the turn of a steering wheel might suggest. The reason for this is the hugely different forces exerted on the car as it moves. As the car goes into a corner, centrifugal forces push outward and it actually wants to carry straight on. Also contributing to this are the circular forces created by the rotation of the tires. The higher the speed, the greater the power needed to overcome them. What helps to stabilize a two-wheeler creates inertia here. What actually happens when you turn the wheel? The rotary momentum is transferred via the linkage into the steering gear and ends up at the tires. The forces produced in this process are transferred via the tires to chassis and suspension back into the car. Another element, the vertical forces, i.e. upward shocks. Whenever shocks are absorbed, they get into the car body and unsettle it. The complex effects of all these forces added together have to be dealt with by the exact interplay of steering system, chassis and tires, so the car handles predictably in all circumstances.